popular Covington Bar and Restaurant that shut down last winter has a new owner and new life. Shay Nora in Mainstrasse Village sold at auction this afternoon. Local 12's Joe Webb was there for the auction and he joins us live from Covington with the story. Hi Joe. Hey, Cammie, you know, for nearly 20 years here in Covington, Jim and Patty Galise ran Shay Nora, not so much as a bar and restaurant, but more as a meeting place, a place where people got together and they got things done. But like you said, there's a new owner, and we talked to him today, and he's really not too sure what he's going to do with it. Shay Nora was an important anchor in Covington's Main Strasse Village, and it was for generations. But today, it was just 528 and 530 Main and its contents. And they were on the auction block. Hundred thousand dollars here, number three, and two here, number three, three, number three. Hundred thousand dollars here, and I can take a three. And the three, auction took just a few minutes. Uh -huh. Jeff Wallensack was one of only a handful of bidders. He used to be a customer here. Wallensack walked away with Shay Nora for three hundred eighty-five thousand dollars. I'm feeling I got it. Now I need to know what to do with it. <laughs> Wall and Zach has some partners who are also from northern Kentucky. He says they like the location more than the business. He says it will probably take them 60 days to figure out what they're going to do in a year to get it done. Yeah, I think the best value is, is, is some kind of operating entertainment bar food uh, venue, at least for part of the building. Meaning the first floor. He would not rule out residential on the upper floors. The buildings were valued for tax purposes at $894,000. The contents were appraised at $40,000 liquidation value. But the real value of Shane Nora was measured in friends met, meals eaten, and deals made. It was the city's political parlor, a salon that doubled as a saloon. I hope at its core that it continues to be a gathering spot. This has really been Covington's ultimate event center for a whole variety of uses and people, and there's nothing quite like it. And I hope that it'll be that again. And I guess we'll find out more in the next 60 days. In a year from now, we'll be back to tell you what exactly is going on here. Shay Nora was originally listed for more than a million dollars, but the price had been dropped over the last six months to $785,000. And we're told the owner, owner turned down an offer much higher than the auction price. Cammie? Wow, so for three eighty-five, dollars I mean, this guy got it for a steal, really. Well, you know, you would think so. I mean, you know, I don't have three hundred eighty-five thousand dollars laying around that I could could spend on a on a on a project. But uh, apparently, this guy has got some some decent backing and has a good reputation. And uh, and the great news, I think personally, is that he's a local guy, and so he understands the history of the place. And uh, my guess is that he'll they'll do something to preserve that. Yeah, good point. It'll be interesting to see what he does. Thanks, Joe. Shea Nora closed its doors in January. The owner said competition from new restaurants in Covington and Cincinnati deeply cut into his business. Coming up